Hi and welcome to another video covering Elementor for WordPress. In this video I'm going to show you the new feature that's been added to both the pro and the free version and that's the ability to add a video light box. So let's take a look at how we can implement it, what it does, how to work with it and how to set everything up. So let's check all that out right now. Okay, so I've created my new page, I've called it Video Lightbox, and now we're ready to switch Elementor on so we can start working with it. So what I'm going to do is click Edit with Elementor, that will open up the Elementor Editor, and we can now start working. So all I'm going to do is click to add a new section. I'm going to choose for this example a single column, and what I'm going to do is come up to the left-hand side, and we want to add a video widget. So let's just drag that in. That'll insert the video widget as we'd expect. It'll place the placeholder in there and we're ready now to fill out the basic information. So the first thing I want to do is go in and change the link to put the link that I want in there. So I'm just going to jump over to YouTube, copy the link for the video. Alternatively, you can go over to Vimeo and do exactly the same thing. So what I'm going to do is come into this and choose the video that I want. That will then show us a placeholder for that which allows us to start playing the video. We can set the aspect ratio if you choose a Vimeo video instead of YouTube you simply come up from the drop down and choose Vimeo as your option. So once we've done that we have some options below we can start to work with. Do we want this to auto play? Do we want it to show the suggested videos at the end? Do we want to show the player controls, player titles and actions and so on? Entirely up to you what you set in there. What we're looking for right now is the image overlay option. So once we click on that we've only got a switch that says we want to show it or hide it. So let's just switch it on. And once we do that, you can see that now changes from being the placeholder graphic from Vimeo or from YouTube and allows us to upload our own image. So what I'm going to do is come over and choose an image. Now I've got one that I've already created for this video, so I'm going to just drag that up and drop it on there. And we'll just give that an alt tag of video screen. And then we'll insert that media. So that then puts the placeholder that I want to work with in there. We then get the option, do we want to use the play icon? If we just choose yes, you can see we now get the play icon in the middle of the screen. If we don't want that, we can click no, and that will then take that away. I'd recommend leaving it on there because it means it shows people there's a video and they can click to play it. The option we now have, which is new, is the light box option. So once we enable that, you can see that brings up a range of new options for us. Before we start working with this, what I want to do is come over to the video itself and just simply click on that, and that will then activate the preview of what this will look like when the light box is working. So once we click, the light box effect opens up. And Hi, and welcome to another. So I'll just pause that video. As you can see, it's that you'd expect it. We've got a light box effect, but now we have a lot more control over this. So let's work through the different options that are available. Once we've enabled the light box, we can now choose the color of the overlay itself. So at the moment, that's set to the default sort of black. We can easily come in and choose the color picker. If we've got a specific value, we can just paste that in there. We can choose from any of the color chips at the bottom. Or alternatively, we can just go in and start choosing colors that we know we want to work with and adjust the opacity to make it fit in exactly how we want with our specific layout. And you can see everything is updated in real time so we can easily run through that until we find the exact color or effect that we want for our specific website. So let's just drop that back down there and just set it back to be slightly darker. Okay, next thing we've got is the content width. Now this is the default size that you'll see the preview, but what we can do is we can easily use this slider and adjust that. You can see as we scale up, It'll show us a larger preview and we can control that quite nicely and easily. If we had a specific value, we can type that directly in. We also have the option for setting the position of our light box. We can simply choose from center or top. A couple of options, makes it nice and easy. We finally, we can go through and we can set to, to use an entrance animation. So instead of it just popping up, we can now control how it pops up. So you can see we've got things like fade in, fade down, zooming options, bouncing, sliding, rotating, a whole range of different options available. We can click on any of those to preview it and we'll see exactly what it looks like on screen until we can find exactly what we're looking for to get the effect that we're happy with. So I'm going to come in and just say, let's come down to, let's go for zoom in. And you can see that'll now zoom in and give us a nice animated effect. So all pretty cool. And that's all there really is to working with the new option we have available to us, which is the Lightbox option for working with videos in both Elemental Pro and the free version. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's shown you how you can implement this into your designs. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, 
Be kept updated with all of the new content we add every single week. If you have any comments, questions or feedback on this video, pop those in the comments section below. And until next time, take care.